Hello children, if I am going to ask you a question that in which planet do you live? You will say that I live on Earth. So Earth is made of Earth. The surface of the Earth consists of water and land. And the Earth is surrounded majorly by air. Air and water is very essential for us for us and also for the life on earth animal and plants all depend on the uh, air and water so as to live air is present everywhere maybe it is present on the cracks of the rock it is also present in the empty box and also in the water so that plants and animals that are aquatic they can survive inside the water not smell air because air is odorless but we are able to feel air by the rustling of the leaves on the trees and also the cool breeze uh, near the sea we can feel it so it shows the presence of air everywhere so uh, so uh, the topic for today is air first we will learn about what are the uses of air what how the air is used Yes, air is used for breathing. Air is basically used for a survival. Plants use carbon dioxide present in the air for making uh, food. That is through the process called photosynthesis. photosynthesis. But we and the animals take in oxygen from the air for our breathing. Plants also take in oxygen for our respiration during the night time. So air is used for breathing. Also, it is used for the combustion combustion that is the burning the oxygen basically present in the air is used for burning it uh, the air is also used for filling balloons and tires you play with the uh, you use balloon during the uh, birthday parties and the tires of the cars and other vehicles they use air for filling it also it is used for flying the kites the parachute the also and the aeroplane and the jet planes fly in the air without air it is not possible also you dry up the clothes outside and it gets dried up because of the air and the several and also air is used for several other purposes for the drying purpose now about we will learn what is atmosphere so Earth is surrounded by the layer of air and it is called the atmosphere. The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air and it is called atmosphere. So suppose this is the earth surface and the, the uh, air that is surrounding it is the atmosphere. The air the air is very denser near the earth's surface and the density decreases. The density decreases as we go up. As we go up. So atmosphere has a mixture of gases and the mixture of gases is present in the four layers. Uh, above the earth's surface atmosphere extends up to 800 km above the earth's surface in which all the four layers are present what are the four layers of the earth's surface that is first layer is the troposphere that is the first layer near the earth's surface second is the stratosphere so the layer layers are like this first is the troposphere second is the stratosphere third is the ionosphere and fourth one is the exosphere these are the four layers above the earth surface and they constitute the atmosphere so first is the troposphere the troposphere is also called the weather layer it is also called weather layer because here the cloud formation, the rain and all takes place. The weather changes also takes place and it extends up to 15 km above the earth's surface. And the air here consists mostly of nitrogen and oxygen which is very essential for the survival of the living organism. Next is the second layer is the stratosphere. The stratosphere, uh, it extends up to 35 kilometer after the troposphere, it extends 35 kilometers and 
it is the cloudless layer no cloud formation takes place over here it is the cloudless layer and here the the outermost layer of the stratosphere contains the ozone layer that shields the ultraviolet the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun from entering the earth atmosphere so it contains ozone contains the ozone layer which helps or it protects the ultraviolet rays from reaching the earth surface and because the ultraviolet rays is very harmful for the living organism in this layer in this layer mostly the jet aeroplanes and uh, jet planes and the aeroplanes fly so the third one is the ionosphere it is the broadest layer it is the broadest layer means it uh, it extends up to more than 200 kilometers above the earth surface it consists of mostly the charged particles the ions the ions uh, the ions are mostly charged because of the radiation of the sun it exosphere is the outermost layer and exos means outer so it contains very little air mostly it contains helium and hydrogen gas hydrogen and helium gas is present in this layer and it is the outermost layer but it still has the gravitational pull of the earth these are all about the four layers of the atmosphere now we will learn about the composition of air learn about the composition of air i am drawing a pie chart for you in which the different the composition of different gases are there first the seven the majorly it constitutes the nitrogen nitrogen gas is present nitrogen gas constitutes about 78% and oxygen constitute 21% and the rest one rest all are other gases other gases like methane carbon dioxide hydrogen argon dust particles water vapor smoke they contain a in very less amount on uh, in the air so air basically is a mixture of gases is a mixture of nitrogen oxygen and other gases the percentage of the dust particles and the water vapor varies from place to place the amount of water vapor present in the air is called the humidity the amount of water vapor present in the air is called the humidity you you might have felt very sticky during the rainy season this is due to the presence of humid air so the oxygen that is present in the air is used by the plants animals and also the human beings for the respiration plants generally respire during the night time and during the day time they use carbon dioxide for making the food that is in the process called photosynthesis you might be very surprised that carbon dioxide present in the air is only 0.03% and nitrogen is generally fixed by some bacteria that is present in the soil they fix the atmospheric nitrogen and may make it available for some plants like the leguminous plant and then they are used by it nitrogen is also used in the fertilizer so these are all about the composition of air so today we studied about the uses of air and about the atmosphere that atmosphere has a mixture of gases and about the four layers of the atmosphere that is the troposphere stratosphere ionosphere and the exosphere and also that the uh, the atmosphere is very dense near the earth surface and it, the density decreases as we go up so for this region uh, 
reason the mountaineers carry the oxygen cylinder as they go up because the oxygen content decreases as we go up and also we studied about the composition of air the uh, the earth contain uh, the air contains mostly 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen and very small amount of other gases and the uh, water uh, and the smoke water vapor and dust particles varies from places to places i'll uh, have a one question for you what is the blanket that surrounds the earth and protects it from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun you can write the answer in the comments below if you like my channel please subscribe it thank you